Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Felicia and today I'm going to show you how to refresh natural hair featuring the Q-Redo. So this is an old twist out, maybe six days old. I've already stretched it to the max. But I'm going to go ahead and rehydrate my hair using the Q-Redo. And right here I'm going to show you how to fill it up. It has a small water reservoir and you just pop that out. And there is a small tab there, the little white tab. You're going to pull that back. And that's where you're going to fill up your reservoir with tap water. And just place the tab back into place. And starting with the smaller end, insert that first. And then just push the back part down and it will clap into place. So next I'm just going to go ahead and section my hair off into four sections. Okay, I'm going to start at the ends of my hair and work my way up the same you would if you were to detangle with a wide two comb. You'll want to start at the bottom and gently work your way up. Now this handheld steamer is a great way to rejuvenate your curls, hydrate, moisturize, and also stretch your hair out. It doesn't leave it soaking wet or anything like that. It's just a nice warm mist to get that moisture back in there. And the product that I'm going to use to re-moisturize my hair is going to be the Shea Moisture Raw Extra Moisture and Detangler Leave-In. I usually moisturize my hair with whatever leave-in or styler that I previously set my hair with. I'm just going to smooth that into my hair. that it may cause frizz for some people's hair so what I would recommend is whatever you use to make sure that you use something that may have some type of anti-frizz um, ingredient in it and as you can see here I ran out of steam because it's such a small reservoir so I do have to refill to finish the rest of my hair okay so I'm moving right along Now the Q-Redo does retail for $69.95 and I will make sure to put the link to the website in the bottom of the description. And here I'm all done, it's moisturized, it's hydrated. I'm going to go ahead and part my hair and put it into a protective style. I'm going to flat twist one side of my hair and then flat twist the other. And I'm here I'm going to use the Curls Passion Fruit Paste Control for my edges just to smooth that down and give it a little bit of shine. Okay guys, I am so sorry. Apparently my battery died and I did not realize it. So you will not see me actually flat twisting both sides of my hair. But this is what it looks like after about 10 to 15 minutes that I had my satin scarf tied down. So I just flat twist both sides of my hair. And I pinned one end to the opposite end of my head. Tucking the ends in and securing with a bobby pin. Thank you. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. I will see you in the next video. Bye.